Well moved on by QPR, here's Wells. Clark with a challenge, although Wells has got through him somehow and retains the ball. Whipped in by Furlong, and Ote is there. Scored in the last round with a penalty against Leeds United, but couldn't quite connect with that cleanly. Philly should have done better, actually, the man into the team there. It clipped off walks. Freeman into the middle, and Lynch was there. That was a clever set-piece from QPR, who have been the better team so far. He was uh, offside, then dropped onside to get that on target. The goalkeeper was well aware of what was happening. Oh, and Lynch has just missed that one, and Pittman, five minutes before half-time, has guided that into the net, but it won't count. It looks like there was a foul by the Portsmouth captain. Yeah, just a little nudge on Lynch as that was guided into the middle, it will not stand. Good end to the first half from Portsmouth, they have improved. QPR can't quite get this away. It's into Louis Dennis, who has to go! Brilliant effort! Tipped over by Lumley. And right on half-time, Portsmouth nearly find a way through. Really good effort from Louis Dennis, who hasn't had many first-team opportunities this season. But I think that was dipping underneath the crossbar. Clark. Past Norwich in the last round. Portsmouth, his championship opposition again, and here's Pittman! What a ball that was from Dennis, and Pittman perhaps could have executed that better. I don't think anyone saw this pass coming, maybe a fraction offside. The League One second top scorer last season is off target. Very close indeed. End of the first half strongly. Very strong in the second half now as well. Portsmouth have kept up that momentum. No way through for Ronan Curtis. Breaks very kindly for Brown, who swings it into the middle. It's in! An own goal by Lynch. Portsmouth get the goal they deserve for their pressure. Joel Lynch cannot believe it. Clipped in by Curtis. Pittman was probably offside there, but didn't touch the ball. As Leishner looked to clear it. And on the wet, greasy surface, Lynch was unsure. Brown, the former QPR man, stuck it into the middle, and it ends up in the net. Did well. Takes on Dennis and wins the battle. It's in towards Matt Smith, who goes down. They're looking for a penalty, QPR. Portsmouth managed to clear it. Gavin Ward has no interest in awarding a spot kick. Matt Smith has come on, and it looks like he was clattered into there by Clark. Good spell this at the moment for QPR. Freeman's delivery. Bit of panic at the near post, and in by Wells. QPR have their equaliser. Naki Wells gets it with 16 minutes to go. Smith's introduction has really caused problems off the bench. Chaos at the near post, and Wells, who needed a few attempts, gets it over the line. On by Smith, Wells, Freeman. Oh, it's missed by the defender, Freeman! That was perhaps a chance to win it. Luke Freeman, one of the better technical players in his QPR side. And came to him relatively kindly, but on his right foot. He could not direct the attempt on target. An even cut tie in the fourth round, and rightly so, it finishes in a draw. Portsmouth 1, Queen's Park Rangers 1.